Hi everybody. Hi, we're the WW Gays. I'm Nick. I'm Jean-Luc. And today we're making peanut butter cookies. Yeah, two point cookies. Two point cookies. It's actually a really simple craft recipe from what I remember. I saw it online, but I changed it a little bit. Three ingredients. That's all you need, right? Three ingredients. You need a cup of craft peanut butter. Nick per only likes crunchy, so we make it with crunchy, and it's really good because then your cookies have a nice little crunch to them. Um, another, uh, the next ingredient is half a cup of sugar, but I'm a brown sugar fan, a Splenda fan, so that's what we use. We use half a cup of Splenda brown sugar, which is zero points. Mm -hmm. Your peanut butter is uh, have your 16 points, by the way. Yes, and you have one egg. And then one egg. So what you do is you mix it all together. I'm gonna move this Splenda bag, we don't need to see that anymore. Um, I'm gonna mix it all together. Yep. Um, then put it into, what we do is we put it into our mini muffin tins, just like when we make our banana bread. So that way we have perfect little bite-sized cookies. And we know that each of them are two And points. we know each cookie is two points. And uh, we also uh, spray them. The recipe itself, like the John was saying, it's, it's 16, uh, 48 points for it's the- It's 48 points for, for, the, the, peanut for the peanut butter. So that's where you get most of your points from. But by splitting to 24 cookies, you know that each cookie is two points because the egg is zero and the split of brown sugar is also- Also zero. zero yeah. so. so here we go. We're just gonna mix this together. I've got a bowl here. So I've got the- I'm gonna crack the egg. Sure. Crack the egg. You guys might see a little uh, orange paw at one point because he's right above the iPad right now watching me cook because that's where he likes to sit. They've been like that since they were kittens, both uh, him and Kate Saba. would come watch us cook dinner and make salad and all of that stuff. So it's hard for them to not want to watch us whenever we're on the, doing something on the counter. But they're really good. They never actually come down onto the counter when we're cooking. I'm sure they're on it when we're not home. Yeah, they're, they're good when, you know, when the cat's away. Yeah. When the owner's away, the cat will play. So, so you just take those three ingredients, mix it together. Just mix it with that. Right? Really easy to mix, as you can see as well. Super easy to mix. And what you're going to do is, once you're done mixing it, you're going to separate that into... You're going to take your muffin tin, your 24... Um, the 24 mini muffin tin, you're gonna add silicone, a silicone uh, mold well, to yeah, it. Yeah, we add the silicone mold to, to it. it. We like it better. And then we sprayed it with uh, oil. Our olive oil, oil spray oil that spray we always use. Points. And then, so, yeah, so this is here for you. Yeah. So, and they're not, they don't make big cookies, just letting you know. They make very little cookies. But it gives you that little peanut butter taste that, that little, you're craving. Yeah, that little sugary bite. I know someone at our meeting the other day was saying that they were craving, they, they bought the two point, those two bite brownies. And I'm just like, this might be a little way of doing it, mm -hmm. but it's like a peanut butter instead of a brownie, right? Yeah. And so what you do is you fill up the entire thing and then you put it in the oven and do you remember what the temperature well, was? Well, let me double check that real quick. We can just hold that there. You want to keep doing it there, huh? Yeah, and I can check the temperature. So it, you put in the oven, uh, you heat the oven at uh, 325 degrees, um, and then make into 24 bite-sized bowls, balls, not bowls, but balls, and then it says bake for about 20 minutes. Don't over-bake, and then let cool for five. So that's so, it. So we'll, we'll finish these up, throw them in the oven, and, and we'll show you what they look like when, when they're done. So we'll probably end up having one as well. Exactly. So see, see you in a bit. soon. Hi, guys. Hi. So guess what? Cookies are done. Mm, and they smell so good. They smell really good. They smell really good. They turned out really good. Um, we, as you can see, only ended up making 22, but I mean, it's because some of them ended up being bigger, bigger than, than others. others. So you, it's really hard. Like you're sitting, yeah. you're, you're not able to be so precise. Yeah. So you have to really give yourself some leeway when it comes yeah, so to we're still going to count these as two points, two points each, each because even though one of them might be a little bit bigger, bigger. it's still going to balance out in right. itself. So do you want to try one? Yeah, I do want to try one. They're really hot because they just came out of the oven. Oh, you know what? We might not be able to yet. Because these cookies... They're too, they're too, oh, they're too warm oh, still. Look at that. Let's see. They look come out like that. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. So they're really good. So hope you guys can actually you mm, know, try it out. Hope you like them. Try it out. Cook it. And if you guys them. have any other recipes that you want us to try or yeah. if you want us to figure something out... Leave a comment below. You can also subscribe to our channel below mm. by clicking the 
the subscribe button below and then also click the bell icon to be notified when we have new videos and uh, you watch us and we'll be posting more videos uh, soon. So mm. talk to you guys later. Oh. Oh. Hot. Yummy oh, though. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.